IMBL South Texas State Fair and Rodeo is less than two weeks away. As a matter of fact, exactly two weeks, two weeks away. away yes. Today we have YMBL Chairman Greg Walls here to answer your questions and to give us a sneak peek of what we can expect. How you okay. doing? I'm doing fine. I know you're pretty busy. Yes, we are. <laughs> so first things first, we have to ask. We have so many cancellations that we're seeing around the country. What's happening and what's the status right now with the South Texas State Fair? South Texas State Fair, we are 100% go. Uh, we are, have a big meeting tonight, and then uh, this weekend we have big work days, and right now we are 100% go to have this fair in two weeks. Okay, so out of the meeting tonight, if any details develop, of course, we'll keep you guys updated um, and ensure you guys will continue monitoring situations Certainly. as things continue to progress. Um, we noticed that the Houston rodeo was canceled, and so many of our kids here in Southeast Texas were impacted because they couldn't show off their livestock, yes. and you guys have a solution. Right. The, the when the Houston Rodeo canceled, uh, uh, one of the, the sad things is the, the children that spend so much effort and money raising these animals to show, to put onto the auction, uh, they were denied that chance. But uh, a big part of our fair is our livestock auction. It's Wednesday, next Wednesday, well, the, the, the Wednesday and Thursday of the fair, uh, and those kids that sell those animals on the auction floor, 100% of that money goes back to them. So we are certainly very mindful uh, of those kids, and that's another reason that we are 100% uh, committed to putting this fair on. Okay, so as we're talking logistics and getting ready for the fair, what can we expect to see for folks who are gonna walk through the gates? Any new attractions? We do have a new attraction in the E-Hall this year. It's a 40-foot long aquarium. It's gonna be stocked with uh, and I forget how 500, 5,000 gallons, whatever it is. It's going to be stocked with bass, catfish, and perch, and they're going to do some casting demonstrations and things like that. But um, you don't, if you catch a fish, you don't get to keep it and bring it and have it fried up and put on a stick. But uh, it should be a, a, a neat exhibit. There will be more than enough options of fried things uh, on no sticks doubt, no out doubt. there at the fair. You can put the fish back, get your yes. fried Oreos, something that's out there. Um, uh, something else that's very interesting that you brought up, you will have uh, personnel on staff that keep you guys abreast of medical situations and, and safety and health. Yes, we'll have a safety coordinator uh, on site uh, that will come and kind of oversee things things like that. Red Cross is on site as well. So uh, we are very mindful of what's happening and we are taking every precaution that we can uh, to ensure the safety of our patrons and our YMBL volunteers. Before we get into some details, I've got to ask, what's your favorite part of the fair? This is a, a highly anticipated event every single year. So what do you look forward to? When I was a kid, it was the ride, uh -huh. but I don't do that anymore. Uh, but I, I like the food. I can't eat all of it, but I can smell all of it yeah. because it won't be long and you'll be driving by and being able to smell all that food. So I would say, like so many people, I love the food. Amazing. Let's talk the date, time, and location for people who want to start planning. March 26th, that's two weeks from today, is opening day, and it will run for 11 days through April 5th. All right, good stuff, Greg. Thank you so much right, for coming you. and swinging by. We'll definitely be in touch with you all. All right, we'll see you.